Hello, it's Professor Rayle again, and I wanted to show you guys a little bit more about issues and some advanced features of them. So let's start off, hopefully you watched the previous video, with that last issue we created. And let's go ahead and find it in our milestone, and click on that, and here we have it, Implement Login Screen. And last time I talked a little bit about having two high level of issues and how we need to break them down. Well, realistically, this issue that we created right here should probably be broken down into possibly two, maybe three separate issues. So um, you can do that with GitHub. Uh, so I'd like to show you that uh, right now. So let's say, for example, I created this issue and we assigned it to one person, but we find that later on that's maybe too much work for one person or you'd like to break it out to make it in smaller chunks um, and assign it to another person. So let me show you how to do that. First, let's just start off by copying what we already have here because this is a good bit of information. So copy that and let's go ahead and create a new issue. But before we do that, let's take note of this current issue number. Uh, it's issue number 10. And using this number right here, we can create a new issue and reference a previous issue. And I'll show you how to do that right here. So let's click on new issue. And let's say create user login form. That's a good title for it. <clears throat> and let's then paste what we previously have and user login form <clears throat> right here. We kind of lost some of our formatting, unfortunately. So let's add that back in. Um, sorry, three, two. So we have that. Now, <clears throat> as I mentioned, you can reference another issue. So let me show you how to do that. And it's really simple. Uh, this is a subtask of, and all you need to do is hit pound sign, and it's automatically going to pull up all of the other issues you currently have. And if you don't remember the number, you can kind of scroll through and see which one it is. But in our case, it was number 10. And as you can see here, it gives you the description right there. And we can click on that. <clears throat> and what's really nice is then if we go to the preview mode, we can see that it has a link which will take us back to, if you look at the bottom of the screen, uh, issue 10. So that's really super nice. Let's go back to the edit screen and let's go ahead and assign it to a milestone and click submit new issue. And once we do that, we can now see that we have issue 11, which is create user login form. And in our description, it says this is a subtask of 10. We can click on 10 to get a higher level detail and boom. We now know how to reference issues from issues. So that's really neat and dandy. Uh, what I also would like to show you is the ability to reference check-ins in your issues. And if you're not familiar with what a check-in is yet, what you can do is come to the uh, top of your repo and click on the commit right here button uh, link. And this will show you all of the commits that have been uh, turned in for this repo. And as you can see here, we only have one, so not that many. But assuming I created that login screen and I checked it in, uh, what Git and GitHub are going to do is give you what is known as a SHA number, SHA. And what you can do is using this SHA number is you can copy it and reference it. Um, right here we can copy it. And using this SHA number, we can use it in our issue to reference a check-in. So that's really handy because maybe uh, a week goes by and you start finding a bug in some code that you went <coughs> in. And it's a lot easier to remember, oh yeah, I had this issue number 10. So it's easier to go to that issue and then you can find the commit number. Uh, it also helps other people see code that's associated with issues, etc. So let's now go and close uh, that issue we just created and reference this uh, SHA number. So we can do a shortcut here by clicking on this issues button. Um, first, let's kind of click on <coughs> create user login form. And first of all, let's assign it to the person who's going to be doing it. Uh, here we have this person named Blink McCallahan, and we've now assigned it to him. And that's who I'm currently logged in as right now. 
So let's pretend that that <clears throat> Sean number I previously copied was the check-in, which uh, had the login form features. So all I'm going to do here is say <clears throat> completed with revision, and then you simply just paste the SHA number, click on the preview, <clears throat> you can see here that get recognized it and is going to give you a link to that commit. So let's go ahead and submit <clears throat> this. Uh, actually, since we're closing it, we can close and comment all in one uh, step by clicking that right there. And as you can see here, added it, completed with revision, I can click on this and it directly links me to that commit. So I can see exactly the code that is referencing this issue. So it's really nice to kind of get everyone on board to just link everything up and make things really nice. Uh, so that's part two of this video, how to use issues on a more advanced feature. Uh, thank you very much.